Hello Realities, it is I, the one and only Afro League, and you know what time it is. So guys, today I have my box braid done. I've never had box braid done on my hair since I went natural. And a lot of people have been asking questions. Okay, not a lot of people, but a few people have been asking questions. They've been like, Angela, what does your hair look like when you have box braid done? And so... I decided to show you guys what my hair looks like I had this done on my hair with some extensions and all of that good stuff if you want to know how I had this installed by myself just stick around because I use a method I call hook method to install the extensions to my hair and this took me about three to four hours to do and I really 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 do love the outcome so enjoy the video guys. Voice over Afrolic here and I'm going to talk you through the process of installing my box braid on my hair. What I had done is the previous day I had moisturized and sectioned my hair. This makes it easier to braid my hair. I'm going to be using this extension from Expression. Extension from Expression. Growth oil from my hair naturals. So what I do is to spritz a little amount of oil in my palm and then rub my hair. In my mind, this is supposed to reduce the friction between my hair and the extension. Remember, I had moisturized my hair the previous day. So what you're going to do now is to twirl the ends of your hair as though you want to install bantu knots. This is to tighten the base of your hair so that it is you have like some grip to your hair. So what I do is to take an equal amount of extension to my hair and then I place the extension underneath my hair as you can see so I take the second section of extension and pass it on top of my hair like so so this sort of gives a hook effect remember I told you I call this the hook metal as you can see it's as though the extension is hooking my hair and then I begin to braid like I would do on a normal day using my hair as the third strand of hair or extension if that makes any sense so I just braid that I am a few inches to the end of my hair I add a little bit of extension what I do is to add the extension to the middle section of hair and to my hair which is on the left hand side and then I continue to braid like so if you can do not less braids then you use that method in adding your extension to your hair So this is a close-up look at how the braid looks. It looks alright to me. I mean, this is a DIY braid, and it it just okay. This is me just being a fool. <laughs> yes, girl. Mhm. Mm so I'm just going to do the same thing. Oil a section of hair to reduce the friction. Uh, massage the oil like so. Twirl the end of my hair as though I want to bantu knot my hair. To give some tightness and grip to the ends of my hair put the extension underneath my hair and my hair acts as the third section of hair for the braids and then I braid my Way done and I am loving the look of this I look so different so this is the last section of hair at the back 
I'd already applied my oil to it, tore the ends of my hair, applied the extension underneath to my hair, and then basically begin to braid. Second to the last step is to put your hair in hot water. This gives the hair a relaxed, relaxed look. I'm going to show you what I mean. And this is the method that I've seen like older women do since I was a child. So this is just what I am used to seeing. But I'm going to show you what I mean by a relaxed look. So what I do is to dry up the water, water from my extension air and the hair is looking nice and relaxed <laughs> so this is what i mean by a relaxed look you can see the ends of the section of hair i have not applied hot water to and you can see the ends that i've applied hot water to and you can see that one part is relaxed compared to the other if that makes any sense so i do i do the same thing for the other section put hot water and then i apply mousse to my hair usually they will trim the hair but we've known that trimming the hair for any flyover is basically you trimming your hair off so it is better to just apply mousse to your hair you know to slip down any flyover that you might have so i just do that and that's the final step basically applying mousse to my hair and then i allow it to dry and that will be it i also do not forget to apply to the ends of my hair Ooh, I forgot I applied oil to my scalp this is not advisable for everyone some people have like product build up when they apply oil to their scalp or itching but this works for me I applied the good oil from my hair naturals the link will be in the description box so and that is it look at me guys so I really love the look I look so different I look like a new person is it just me or does a new hairstyle make you feel like a new person tell me in the comments section okay so this is still me flexing my hair i'm feeling like a princess and then i decided to accessorize my hair with these gold cuffs and they look so fabulous so if you've watched to this point please do make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video share this video with your friends do all of that good stuff. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.